Hey guys, so if you saw my last Get Ready With Me video, you saw that I talked about wanting to change up my hair and possibly make it lighter, so that's what I did. And in that video, I also promised that I would film the whole process for you, and so here I am. The camera's actually picking my hair up a little bit darker than what it looks like in real life, but it is basically just a really light golden brown. It kind of has a natural slight ombre effect going on. So I will insert a picture to give you a more accurate portrayal of what it looks like in person. So for those of you who this is the first video of mine you've ever watched, basically my hair was more or less black and I changed it to this really light brown color. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. I'm going to show you everything I used and what I did step by step. So first off, just to give you a little background on my hair, basically my hair was dyed a very, very, very dark brown color, but underneath that I had bright red hair, then dark brown again, then more bright red, then dark brown, light brown, and then at the very base of all that my hair was bleached from a year ago. Um, so, needless to say, I had many layers of color just like piled up in my hair and I wanted to sort of take some of that out because I knew that if I wanted to lighten my hair it would have been a lot more difficult and way more damaging to do so with all of those layers of color in my hair. So I used a color remover first off. The color remover that I use is the My Hairdresser Professional at Home color remover I think is the name. I got it on Amazon for around $20. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in getting it for yourself, um, but I think the only way you can buy it is online. I haven't seen it in stores or anything. The way that specific color remover works is it goes into the hair shaft and it separates the um, artificial color molecules from the hair and then when you wash it out it just washes that color out of your hair. It only works on permanent hair color though, so if you have demi or semi permanent hair color or like a henna dye or something in your hair, it's not going to work on that. This particular one that I use is only for permanent hair color. I know there are other ones out there that you can try, like the Color Oops by I think L'Oreal, um, I don't know. Just If you search on the internet, you can find plenty of them. Um, so yeah, I just followed the instructions that were included on the box. Final results from using the color remover were basically I had my roots were totally virgin and they were just my natural dark brown hair color. And then the rest of my hair was still sort of a dark brown color, but it was a little bit lighter than my roots were. Then from there, I had the bright idea that I was going to just put a really light box dye on my hair and then it would just lift it a little bit to just like a nice medium brown. Um, but that didn't really go as I had planned. So if you're trying to do this with your hair, please just skip this step. It was totally unnecessary. But just so I'm being totally honest with you guys, I purchased the Revlon Color Silk box dye, which I never use box dyes, but I was being really impatient and the closest thing to me was a Rite Aid, so I figured why not just stop being a hair snob and just use box dye. Yeah, I shouldn't have, but yeah, I got it in the color Medium Ash Blonde number 70, it looks like this, and I just applied that all over my head, and I, again, I just followed the directions on the box, I don't really remember exactly how long I left it on for, but yeah, so then I washed that out. And I was left with basically, my roots were a really light brown color and then the rest of my hair didn't really look any different. It was still just dark brown and I was pretty pissed. I'm assuming that that just means that the color remover didn't take all of the color out of my hair. Had it taken everything out and I was left with just my complete virgin natural hair, I think that would have worked and the color that my roots turned out ideally would have happened to my entire head, which is what I was hoping, but I guess I just had so much color built up in my hair that it wasn't able to take it all out. So I guess that's why the box dye wasn't really able to lighten my hair because there was so artificial color in it. So moving on to the next step, then what I did was I decided to stop being so impatient. I had my roommate drive me to Sally's and then I picked up the L'Oreal Excellence High Color Highlights for dark hair only in the color Ash Blonde. 
If you watched my video where I dyed my hair bright red, this is the exact same line that I use, but I obviously use the red line. This one is for getting your hair lighter, blonder, whatever. So I use this and I mix it with 30 volume developer in a little mixing bowl and I mix a one to two ratio. I just use one box of the high color highlights. And then I basically just put that on my hair but I completely avoided my root area because obviously I didn't want that to be bright blonde and then the rest of my hair still be darker than that. So I completely avoided my roots and I just started kind of brushing it on through my hair, completely saturated it, and again, um, I just sort of followed the directions. If you do purchase the stuff and you're kind of confused, you have to um, break the box open and then the directions are inside the box. Um, I think this tells you to just leave it on for 30 minutes. I left it for 30 and then I just kept checking on it and after 30 minutes it wasn't exactly where I wanted it. It was still a little bit darker so I think I left it on a total for 45 minutes. I suggest to you just check on it every once in a while, every like 10 to 15 minutes just you know poke around at it, see how fast it's lightening and then once you've reached your achieved level then rinse it out but I wouldn't recommend leaving it on for more than like 50 minutes because I feel like that's a little too much so that is pretty much it so this is the hair that I have now the only thing I do have 14 inch um, your next hair extensions in the color chestnut brown but um, I think they blend pretty well with my hair they're just like maybe slightly lighter than my hair so it gives me sort of like a natural looking ombre which I think is really nice um, but I really like it I'm totally happy with it my hair honestly feels really soft and I know even with my red hair video a lot of people were like oh well the L'Oreal high color highlights is the same thing as bleach it has bleach in it blah 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 your title was misleading because you said without bleach listen okay I'm not a professional hairstylist or colorist I'm not a chemist I'm not going to like break down, oh, well bleach has these chemicals and this has, you know, whatever. All I'm telling you is I know what my hair feels like after I put bleach on it and I know what my hair feels like after I've used the high color highlights and it is, they're not even comparable. When I put bleach on my hair, it feels crunchy and dry and fried and straw-like and it takes a really long time to get it back to like a healthy, natural feeling. It is not as damaging as bleach. Like, I don't care what you say, it isn't. That's just how it is. So, I didn't mean for that to sound bitchy or anything, but really, like, I'm just trying to stress to you that it really is not that bad on your hair. So, I really would suggest that you go with that as opposed to bleach. The only thing that I have to say about my hair that I still sort of kind of want to do in the next couple of weeks so that it's like totally perfect and exactly how I want it is just to kind of maybe put like a medium brown color on my roots and then like lightly blend it down because I feel like my roots are I mean I don't, you can't even really tell on the camera but I feel like my roots are a little bit lighter than I would like them to be so I think that's pretty much everything um, so basically just to recap I use a color remover do not do the box dye thing that I did like just totally forget that um, and then I use the L'Oreal high color highlights with 30 volume developer and that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you want to know any info, like what I'm wearing, nail color, lip color, whatever, as always, it'll be down below in the info bar, box, whatever the hell. I'll also list all the products that I mentioned, and I'll put links to where you can purchase them. And... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me know down below what you think of my hair. Do you like it lighter like this? Do you prefer it black? Do you like it red? Let me know. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!